Welcome everybody. Welcome to the Lock in Your Success Trade and Market Update for December 9th, 2012. Well, there's not a whole lot to talk about this week. The market kind of sat there and did nothing. If you remember the last time we spoke in last week's update, I was expecting a rise in the market and for the markets to break out a little bit higher. What happened is Apple came down pretty hard last week. Uh, came right back down close to its support levels. So uh, that kind of dragged down the whole market. It pulled the NASDAQ down, kind of held the um, Russell from breaking out because that's a little bit more correlated with the NASDAQ than anything else. Held the SPX down. The Dow went ahead and broke up anyway. That didn't really matter because it's not as tech heavy as, uh, as like the Russell. And of course, it dragged. Uh, it was dragging the Nasdaq down pretty good. So I'm kind of watching Apple to see if this is going to bottom out down here in this range, or if they're going to flush out some of the um, longs before it goes up. So I wouldn't expect anything too heavy in the market until Apple starts its bounce. But in general, I am still bullish. I still think Russell's going to close up here in this area, which isn't particularly good for our M3 trade for December. It's perfectly fine. Uh, should be fine for the bearish butterfly. And speaking of those, let's just go and check those out. Here is what our M3 trade looks like so far on uh, for December. We pretty much did not have anything to do last week. I did drop a few more of these 750 butterflies out to help with our uh, positive beta, our negative theta situation. We keep hitting on because, you know, as time goes by, we get more and more negative theta, positive vega out here as this line starts to collapse into expiration. So... Uh, you know, continue more of the same, and I haven't quite decided yet. I was kind of waiting for the index to break one way or the other. If we're just going to take this upside risk off and not worry about the trade, or if I want to roll up yet, I haven't decided. But um, unless the market backs down early in the week, it's probably going to be a break-even month. So, uh, slight win, slight loss for the for the month. So not a big, not not bad considering the crazy, crazy reversal we had. So uh, I'm perfectly happy with that. Let's take a look at the December bearish butterfly. Here's what this looks like. If you remember last week, we uh, changed plan a little bit. And instead of uh, adding it at 8.20, I just came in at 8.40 and added 5.840s. So I had 10 800s, 5 840s. I came in and added a couple more uh, 840s during the week just to keep my delta flat. As of right now, it's getting uh, close, uh, closer to break even. Uh, I don't think this is going to be a problem. If we have a really, really, really hard breakout, we may lose to this, to this to the upside, but I'm pretty sure it'll be all right. And like I said, if we get a hard move back, then this is going to be exited at a small loss for the month. So the plan is still the same. I'm still expecting the market to creep up some more. And as it does, we'll level this off. And eventually, we will. Uh, we should be able to stay with it. any kind of a moderate, any kind of a moderate move. And the last trade we have on is going to be the January bearish butterfly, which has an add point at 8.30, which we have not hit yet. We've just been kind of sitting here. I do have a delta theta issue, and if I do end up adding an eight, uh, adding at 8.30, I'm going to roll the 7.90 to 8.10 and add at 8.30. And like I said, this is not a concern. We're just kind of waiting out the market, seeing which way it wants to break. It's down about 3,500, which is which is uh, nothing really for a trade this size. So that's all we have for now. Uh, the year's coming to an end. Like I said, in December we do get this creep up. I wouldn't be surprised if the market kept going, but uh, we'll have to keep an eye on Apple and some of the support levels because you never know. We can break to the downside. We do have this fiscal cliff thing, and you'd think uh, traders would get a little would be getting a little bit nervous, but uh, we haven't seen that uh, at all. But that's about all I have for now. The markets are diverging, and like I said, the trades are doing okay, not great. We shall see what the week brings, and I will keep you updated with any changes. Have a great week, everybody, and good night.